Hey guys, it's Viewmasters Reactions, and we're back with a trailer reaction. I was about to start watching shows. Wakanda Forever official trailer dropped a couple hours ago. I was at work. I couldn't jump right into it. The teaser trailer was very emotional. No Woman No Cry played in a remix I had never heard. I'm assuming it was done for that. Very emotional. We didn't really get an idea of what is going on. It was just a lot of flashes. Maybe that's why it's the teaser. I think teaser, I think short, like under a minute, something like just showing us an announcement or the title or the date. That showed us a lot of little flashes. We saw the first shot of Namor. I remember hearing that when I was younger, that Namor was actually the first Marvel character or something to that effect. Let's just jump in. The first trailer was great. I am assuming we're going to get more of the story in this, explaining what is going on. They didn't really explain how they're handling the death of Chadwick Boseman, Black Panther. So I'm assuming this is going to be that. In this image right here, this is the image they're giving us. I'm thinking it's Shuri being told by Angela Bassett, you're probably going to have to take shit over. I think Shuri is going to take over. And honestly, I dig Shuri. So I'm, I'm, I'm good with that. Let's find out. You guys want to see more of what I do? Full unedited episodes, all the shows on the channel. Seasons ahead of what you're seeing. Hundreds of exclusives you'll only see on Patreon. The link is at the end. Dozens of shows you'll never see on YouTube. I just don't have time to edit it all. Doctor Who, Person of Interest, Battlestar, Stargate, all these other shows. Dozens of them. Check it out. If not, the official trailer for Wakanda Forever. Here we go. The black and white again. It's the Marvel Studio look. I'm assuming that's Shuri. Angela Bassett to the great... Namor. Oh, we're getting a lot more of Namor. It's gonna be the most broken people. Can be great leaders. That's an awesome throw. They always have great music. All right, this is when... They did not call him General or King. They called him Kukul Khan. The Kukul Khan. The feather serpent god. Killing him. Look at this. He will risk eternal war. He's coming. For the surface world. Oh! I ain't that far away. What you whisper. They have lost the protector. Now is our time to strike. Was he just jumping on beams? Show them who we are. It's gotta be her. Yeah. So they just confirmed it there. Tickets now. November 11, not far at all. All right, guys, that was pretty wild at the end there. Was Namor running on the laser blast of the ships? The speed in which he'd need to do that. They're firing blasts at him. I don't know. I went back and looked real quick, and it looks like he is running on the blast of the ships. I have to assume that's what it is because it otherwise doesn't make sense because he is leaping off of something into the sky super quick. Apparently, he's going to be super powerful. I mean, I know that he is in the Illuminati in the comics in some world or part of the universe. My brother tells me things all the time. He is very into the comic books. He'll talk to me about it for four or five hours, and then I won't know anything for like three years, and then I'll hear more. So all this knowledge is in my head of things I think I've heard that kind of connect to different things. But I'm pretty sure he said at one point he was in the Illuminati. He's super powerful. He's one of top tier leveled guys. He is running on laser bolts. Beyond that, we get the confirmation at the end there that Shuri is going to be the next Black Panther. Unless they're playing tricks with us, uh, who else could it be? It was a female-looking Black Panther outfit. Unless 
another female is going to take the part and they're totally blindsiding us, which is possible, but I mean, they're basically saying that Shuri is going to be the next Black Panther. I dig her. I think it's a good way of passing the torch without like having it be disrespectful or anything like that because she was already in the, obviously the first Black Panther. She's been a part of it for a while now. So it isn't like they're just throwing someone in there like, yeah, we didn't make a big deal out of this person, but here she is. She was a big deal. So I feel like it makes sense. Also, Angela Bassett, been part of my movie life for pretty much since the beginning. The first thing I can remember him was Boys in the Hood, The Mom. And even before that, I'm sure there was other things. But great to see her in it. She has a lot of emotion in her words and in the trailer there, you can feel it. She's great. I love her. Let's see what happens. November 11th, it's not far at all. It's about a month and a week. I'm going to go see it opening night. You guys let me know what you think. You want to see more of what I do? Full on edited episodes, all the shows on the channel, seasons out of what you're seeing, hundreds of exclusives you only see on Patreon. The link is in front of me. Dozens of shows you'll never see on YouTube. I just don't have time to edit everything. Person of interest, Doctor Who, and the new Quantum Leap. Go check it out. If not, comments down below. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.